Hello and welcome back to Jacko. In this video, we're going to look at a big misconception converting minutes into hours, and it's not as easy as you think. Students make a lot of mistakes on this topic, especially when it comes to bigger questions when you're calculating speed, distance, and time. We should know that 60 minutes is one hour, okay? We should know that. However, what would 30 minutes be in hours? It'll be a decimal. Do you think it's 0 0.3? 0 0.2, 0 0.30. 0. If that's the case, then that is wrong. Okay, it's a big misconception that students always think. So, because we've halved 60 to 30, we divide that by 2. We then divide this by 2. And that is 0 0.5 hours. So, 30 minutes in terms of hours is 0.5 hours. hours. Just before we carry on to more questions, shout out to Bioshockwave and Pug Gaming for commenting and subscribing on my YouTube channel. If you want a shout out, make sure you drop a comment and that could be you on my next video who gets a shout out. Right, three more times going from minutes to hours. So now we've got 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. It is not 0 0.15 that people always put, okay? You are going from 60 to 15. You are dividing by four. So therefore going from this one, to here, you are dividing by four. And that is 0 0.25 hours, because 0 0.25 is a quarter, okay? Yeah, which looks something like this is a quarter as a fraction. Now, 20 minutes, that's a third of an hour. And a third, as a decimal, is 0 0.3 recurring. Very important, that recurring, that dot, okay? It's 0 0.333333, and so on. Right, 90 minutes. So you've got one hour, and you've got 30 minutes left over. So it's one and a half hours. And you'll write that as 1.5 hours. Okay, this is converting minutes into hours. For more videos like this that are really going to prepare you for the maths classroom, you need to check out this playlist. Okay, exams are not too far away. Take care, and I'll see you next time.